Hello everyone and welcome back to another ranking video. We ranked uh, point guard, shooting guard, small forwards, and now we're on to power forwards. Uh, got a lot of good power forwards in today's NBA. Uh, you know, you got AD, Giannis, um, and a, no a notable one from the past is like Br Blake Griffin. But yeah, there's a lot of good good power forwards and we're going to rank them. So we got some tiers here. We got superstar, all-star, good, average, below average, and then trash. I didn't make this list, so obviously uh, none of these players are trash because, you know, they made the NBA. So, but but we're going to get into it, see, see uh, what I think, um, and yeah, like and subscribe. So, first player we got here, AD, he's a superstar, um, very injury prone. Um, I, I would be mad as hell. Like, the only downside to him is that he, he is injury prone. He does everything else out there. He just want to chip. Uh, ring chased a little bit. Uh, but yeah, superstar, uh, Aaron Gordon, since being traded to the nuggets, I like his role better there. I think he was asked too much of in, in Orlando where he just wasn't effective because it was just such a large role that it, it was just a lot to handle. Uh, but on the nuggets, I say, I'd say he's good. Um, I, I would say he's above average. Um, yeah, so I'll keep him there. So Blake Griffin below or not below average. He's he's pretty average. Uh, he might be in below average by the, by the time I'm done with this video. Uh, Darius Baisley, right? I think that's his name. Um, he's pretty below average. Um, yeah, he's he's worse than Blake Griffin. I, I'm pretty confident in saying that. Uh, Delon Wright's pretty much in the same category um, as Baisley. Uh, Draymond has to be in good. Um, his impact is solid. Obviously, his stats don't show it, but um, I just made that PJ Washington video explaining how stats don't show everything. So I have to put him in good. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm confident in that. It's a bonus. All star. Giannis, superstar. He's better than AD. I hate. I hate all the comments. All right, not comments on my videos, but. I hate all the controversy around AD being better than Giannis. Like, come on, come on. You guys can let me know in the comments what you guys think, but I think Giannis easily wins that argument. Jay Crowder, pretty average. Um, his is he's a he reminds me of Draymond Green a bit because he he does everything out there for the Suns. Uh, the Suns have a couple guys that do that though. They have Bridges. Uh, Mikel Bridges, who, who's an all-around type of guy. Frank Kaminsky, since leaving my Hornets, he's been a lot better. Uh, but let, let's keep it moving. We got John Collins. Do I put him in, in the same category as Sab No, I have to I have to put him here. Uh Sabonis, I, I mean two-time all-star now. Um I think he's I think he's still better than John Collins. I think I'm still confident in saying that. Uh we got Jeremy Grant. Oh god. Uh he was a fringe all-star. Uh he's better than these guys he, he's putting up empty stats i mean uh people knock westbrook for putting up empty stats but those i would i would put westbrook stats in a different category than what jeremy grant is doing because you saw what jeremy grant does on a good team he doesn't put up those numbers but when he makes it to a bad team he scores 20 plus um he's in all-star conversations i'm gonna put him in good uh sabonis so uh, the, the Pacers are under for performing this year. I think they're like the 10th seed right now, which is pretty God awful. Uh, but, but he has been on good teams. Um, so yeah, I, I'm fine with putting him in all-star, uh, Jerry Jackson jr. Good. Um, it, he hasn't played in like two years. Uh, so I'm debating putting him in average just cause he, he's missed so much time. Uh, Julius Randall, same tier as Sabonis. I think they're pretty similar skill sets. Jason Tatum. Oh man. Oh man. I might have I might have to put another tier in. I I'm not even sure how you do that. Um cuz cuz Jason Tatum is um he's not as bad as as these guys like he, like he's he's um he's in a, a He's like, uh, I don't I don't know what I'm trying to say. He's a lot better than these guys. It's basically what I'm trying to say. But he's not at the level of like a Giannis or AD. So uh, we're going to label this superstar and uh, label this Jason Tatum. Because, yeah, 
that's just how I'm going. <laughs> that's just how I'm going to do it because I'm going to piss people off either way I do it. If I put them in the superstar tier, uh, you know, he's not at that level yet. Uh, but if I put him in all-star tier, tier, he's he's a lot better than these guys. So I have to put him there. Uh, Jared Vanderbilt. Pretty below average. Uh, oh, God. Uh, Keldon Johnson. The, the, Keldon Johnson's tough. Putting up really good stats. His team's overperforming this year. Oh, God. Um, he's he's Because he's better than these guys, right? Would I rather have Jay Crowder or Keldon Johnson on my team? That's a tough one. That's tough. I think I put him in average. I, I don't I don't think he's as good as these guys. I might have to put Aaron Gordon down a tier. Um, obviously, you guys know I really value what Draymond Green does, so that's why he's up there with, with these guys. Um, yeah. Kevin Love. Uh, Kevin Love. Kevin Love. Kevin Love. I'm, I have to put him in below average. He just hasn't played in like five years. <laughs> he hasn't played since that since that big finals run. Uh, Kelly Olenek, he's pretty below average. Um, Larry Marketin, below average. Yeah, I, I have to drop Baisley down. Uh, if I'm putting, I'm going to drop Jared Vanderbilt down just because I got to fill out all these tiers, right? Um, yeah, that, I think that looks good. Marvin Bagley below average she's proud i'd say they're pretty similar larry marketing and marvin bagley nick batum oh on on the on the hornets he was like below trash like he was terrible well he didn't he barely played but uh just for his contract i'm gonna put him in below average i'm gonna keep him right there uh same as paul Millsap. siakam siakam's interesting siakam's in, oh god um he has to go in the same tier. Um, yeah, he, he can't be an all-star. He, he just can't be. Uh, P.J. Tucker. Oh, God. I'd say he's pretty similar to Jay Crowder. Uh, P.J. Washington. Oh, God. I just made a video about him. Oh, God. Where do I rank P.J. Washington? Oh, okay. Um, I have to put him in good. Um, I would take him over all these guys. So that's my logic behind, behind that. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Robert Covington is below average. Uh, same as Rui Hachimura. Is this Will Barton? No, 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 no. That's Royce O'Neal. My, my bad, Jazz fans. Uh, Royce O'Neal. Uh, he stepped it up this year, so I'll give him average. Um, Tobias Harris is interesting because this year he's he's probably more of a fringe all-star than than Jeremy Grant was. Um, so I think I'm gonna put him there. I, I think uh, I think they're all at a similar level right here, where it's good to put him right there. And same as Zion. Um, yeah, that that is my list, guys. Uh, let me see if I want to change anything real quick because you never know, right? Um, yeah, let me let me put him down there. <laughs> uh, I haven't. I honestly haven't heard of him all season, so he could be having a fine season. But just what of what I think of him, I think that he's probably at the same level as these guys. Because Jared Vanderbilt's having a great year this year. So, uh, but but if I'm comparing him to all these other players, yeah, he's pretty trash. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna do it for me, guys. I I think it is. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.